Massive landslide caused killer tsunami. Researchers say a mega tsunami that devastated a Greenland settlement in June was triggered by a landslide. On the night of June 17th, a landslide hit Karat Fjord on Greenland's west coast. The landslide was so large, it produced a seismic signal that suggested a magnitude 4.1 earthquake. Large volumes of rock plunged a thousand feet into the waters below, shattering a glacier and triggering a mega tsunami with waves over 90 meters high. The tsunami devastated a nearby fishing village, washing away 11 houses and leaving at least four people presumed dead. A team from the Georgia Institute of Technology visited the site to collect information and are aiming to produce a 3D reconstruction of the incident. Researchers also determined that another landslide in the fjord may be imminent, leading authorities to evacuate three villages in the region. Though the cause of the landslide has not been determined, experts say factors such as those brought about by climate change may increase their frequency. Don't let YouTube ad bots dictate what Tomo News reports. Support us at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Mother Nature sometimes gets very unhappy. Why is Italy so prone to earthquakes? More than 240 people are dead and dozens more missing after an earthquake hit the central Italian town of Amatitre. The magnitude 6.2 quake was devastating, but it was merely one in a series of deadly seismic events that regularly hit the country. Italy is one of Europe's most seismically active countries, largely because it sits near where the African and Eurasian tectonic plates collide. The interaction of the plates is also causing a sea basin on the country's west side to slowly spread. On its east, subduction is causing the smaller Adria microplate to slip beneath the Eurasian plate. All the movement builds up tension in the region's crust, which is eventually released in the form of earthquakes. Seismic events in Italy also tend to be more shallow and thus more damaging. Stronger quakes that have hit Asia with fewer casualties are mostly due to the tremblers occurring deeper underground. Over 50 people missing and dozens of buildings buried after a massive landslide in China. A landslide hit Shenzhen, China on Sunday, leaving dozens of buildings buried, and according to state-run media, at least 59 people missing. The BBC reports that a person living around four kilometers from the site described hearing a loud explosion at around noon when the landslide hit. State-run Xinhua News Agency reports the landslide also ruptured a gas pipeline, causing an explosion at the Hengtaiyu Industrial Park. China's Public Security Bureau's firefighting unit said 20,000 square meters was covered with soil, an area roughly the size of two standard FIFA regulation soccer pitches. There are conflicting reports as to how many buildings collapsed and how many people are dead and missing. Government officials say at least 1,500 workers are at the scene helping with the rescue effort. However, there has so far been no official word as to what caused the landslide. Our crazy night out with Taiwan's Typhoon Soldalore.
Hey, Tomo Sapiens. Help us beat the ad bots by joining our Patreon news squad at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Earthquake hits Indonesia. Rescuers are continuing to search for survivors after an earthquake struck Western Indonesia on Wednesday, killing at least 97 people and injuring hundreds more. The 6.5 magnitude quake hit the east coast of Aceh province on the island of Sumatra, about 11 miles southeast of the town of Sigli. Authorities said Aceh's Pitijaya Regency was the worst hit area. The area is home to around 140,000 people. Indonesia sits on the ring of fire and has experienced 15 earthquakes measuring six or more on the Richter scale since December last year. Around 120,000 people were killed in Aceh when the region suffered huge destruction in the Indian Ocean tsunami of 2004, which was triggered by a 9.2 magnitude earthquake. However, no tsunami warning has been issued in relation to this most recent quake. NASA warns that Indonesia's forest fires could worsen. NASA warns that the suffocating haze blanketing Southeast Asia for the past several weeks may worsen and become the worst ever recorded in the region. Illegal slash and burn farming in southern and eastern Sumatra, as well as on the island of Kalimantan, causes Indonesia to endure annual bouts of hazardous smog. The expansion of small farms and the growth of palm oil or rubber corporations in recent years has intensified forest fires in the country. The haze caused by this year's fires has spread to various parts of Indonesia and has deeply impacted air quality in Singapore and Malaysia. Pollutant standards index readings of over 300 are considered hazardous to human health. Singapore has recorded readings of up to 341 this year, while Indonesia has reportedly seen readings of up to 2,000. NASA researchers have warned that if Indonesia's current drier than usual weather conditions persist, the haze will worsen. Indonesia's Southeast Asian neighbors are pressuring the archipelago to solve the haze issue, with the Singapore Foreign Ministry reportedly saying that Indonesia is showing a complete disregard for our people and their own. The Jakarta Globe reports that an Indonesian official responded by accusing Singapore of acting like a child and making all of this noise. Indonesia has rejected Singapore's help to fight the fires. Don't believe in God? Watch this video and you just might change your mind. Watch the bottom left of the screen. See that person looking for shelter? Then boom, a tornado slams into the building. That woman is either exceptionally lucky, or as she believes, was spared by the hand of God. OMG indeed. And that was just one of the over 50 strong tornadoes that hit the Gulf and East Coast of the US between February 23rd and 24th. Wikipedia reports the storms were the second largest tornado outbreak ever recorded in the States, which sadly claimed the lives of at least seven people. The survivor you saw is Kira Johnson, who works as a FedEx driver in Louisiana. Shortly after 3 p.m. on February 23, 2016, Johnson tried to escape an approaching tornado. Leaving her vehicle, she desperately ran towards Sagona's True Value Hardware Store in Pankerville. The store was locked up, and after tugging on the doors for a second or two, Johnson disappears off screen. Moments later, BAM! The entire building is ripped to shreds. We can't see it, but Johnson survived by wedging herself between a wall and a vending machine, and it was just enough cover to spare her a grisly fate. Other cameras at the store also recorded the moment the twister struck, and as you can see, it doesn't look very survivable. The store was pretty much obliterated. 45 homes were wiped off the map, while 22 other buildings were seriously damaged. Kira Johnson told the media, I braced myself between the Coke machine and the wall, and I just know it saved me. Jesus saved me, she said, recounting how she prayed that God would spare her life as the winds howled around her. Pretty much every Facebooker commenting on the story attributes Kira's survival to divine intervention. And with this level of destruction, it's hard not to wonder if someone was indeed looking out for Miss Johnson. Store owner David Sagona presented a Save by the Hands of God t-shirt to Johnson, and also quite wisely, began using the tornado tail as a marketing tool. But divine intervention or not, Kira Johnson is spot on when she says she's counting her blessings. And man, she's got a lot to be thankful for.